Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Heavy Rain for more point and click action. We are back where we left off in the hospital, visiting Anne Shepard, who you believe is the mother of John Shepard, potentially the origami killer. And we're going to crack on. We were making some origami figures for her last time to try and jog her memory. Um, but when I was going back, because um, I had to reload an old save, because it saved when we came into this room, I actually noticed that over here, there's some origami, these origami figures. figures? My I think we looked at them animals. last time. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Maybe we didn't actually. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepherd. John and what was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. So maybe they weren't brothers. Maybe they were stepbrothers or just friends or something. Um, so we've got this paper, haven't we? Which one do we want to make? Uh, let's put that down for now. So which one was lying on the side? Was it the crane? I think we tried making the crane, didn't we? And didn't we also try the hummingbird? What else have we got? We've got the frog, haven't we? The dog? And the frog. So weirdly it's saved. Oh no, it hasn't saved. Okay. Because there's still more paper there. Right, let's try the frog. It'll probably be the dog, won't it? After all this. Be the last one we try. Oops. Oh, damn. Let's try it again. Down. L1. Left. Hex. There we go, the frog. Do you like the frog? I love origami, but that's not my favourite one. Of course it isn't, so it is going to be the last one, isn't it? It's going to be the dog. <laughs> right, okay, I mean, that's not really a huge problem. We'll do the dog, shall we? Let's see if we can get the dog to work. I mean, if it isn't this, then I'm not really sure what else it's going to be. L1, left, square, down. Oh, this is quite a complicated one. Maybe it is going to be this one then, because it takes longer. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs too. Aha, it's the dog. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting hmm. my time telling him they couldn't Could all Max have the be same the name, name of the other kid? But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? So she's still not mentioning the other child. Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just just remember. I wonder if we've got to go right. and get those flowers. I'm wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Let's see if we can ask her anything else. Doesn't look like it, okay. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we've got to go and get those flowers from outside then. Oh, is there anything in the bathroom actually? We haven't been in here. We can look at ourselves. Not sure what that's going to help with though. Fair enough. Uh, right, let's see if we can get those flowers that we saw in the hallway. Because I've got a feeling that might help. Uh, where were they? They're on the table, weren't they, or something? Table opposite? Uh, what was that? It flashed up memory. Does Mrs. Shepherd ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Uh, okay. Visits? Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years and you're the first. Wow, okay. Uh, son? Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. 
Does she ever talk about her other son? It's weird, isn't it, that she doesn't talk about the other one. I've never one. I've never heard her mention it. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the mm. advice. Yeah, I think we've got to find those flowers. They're along here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Where were they? Ah, oh, there we go. Let's take those. Right, we'll take this back to her. Hopefully this will work. Right, back to her room. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Maybe not too far away from the end of the game now. Right, do we give it to her or do we put it in the... No, put it in the what vase, okay. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. Oh yeah, the orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. Mm. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? Huh? The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family? Oh, yeah, he went into John's foster brother? care, didn't he? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. It's really sad, he isn't it? He thought I didn't love him anymore. What was the name? His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Trying to push a bit too much, maybe? Come closer. Okay. Is she gonna whisper it or? She is. And it shocked her. So it's someone she knows then. Which makes me think it's potentially Ethan. <laughs> And if it is, then we're gonna go around in this whole big circle again, <laughs> where it has been Ethan and hasn't been Ethan, and it's Ethan again. Oh God, tell us who it is. Come on, we need to know. Okay, we're playing as Ethan again. Let's do it. The last letters. Six twenty-four p.m. Five point one one five inches of rain. And we are the last origami figure. on the last trial. The last trial. Wow, this is freaky. It's not getting any closer. The last origami figure. The last trial. It's like something out of a horror movie. It's getting closer now, but what a weird corridor. What is this? The last origami figure. The last trial. What the hell? What is all this? Photos? Of the room? It looks like webcams or something. What is this? It is photos of the room. How bizarre. What's the deal with the chair? Huh. Really weird. Is it something to do with perspective or something? I really hope we don't get all the way here and then fail the last trial. That would be a real kick in the teeth. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save Oh, I knew your it was going to be this. There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly Oh, the mirrors. Minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You 
will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. Oh, God. You can drink the vial or decide to leave. The choice is yours. What do we do? The cameras. He must be watching me. Solution. There's got to be another way. I can't kill myself to save my son. Uh, poison? Poison. So, if I drink this, I'll be dead in an hour, and if I don't, I won't get the last letters. Uh, thoughts. Save Sean. And die. Christ. He loses his father, but at least he's alive. Maybe it's the right thing to do. Oh, God. Um... He could be lying. Maybe I'll die as soon as I drink this, and then no one can save Sean. Uh... Am I willing to die to save my son? I mean, I would do it. If I had no other alternative, I would do it. There's no choice. I've got to do it. If I want to save my son. Except, Nothing to I lose. Guess. I've come too far to stop now. One hour to live. Just enough time to save Sean. Do you know what? We're going to have to do it, aren't we? I think I've tried to play this game in the way that I would if I was in this situation. And I would do it, so... There might be another way. There might be a way out of it. Uh, can we look at it? Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to look at it. What is it? Oh, Joe, we're going to have to do it. I'm going to be true to the way that I was going to play the game. What's the deal with all like, the webcams and the mirrors, though? So we've got an hour, supposedly, to save Sean. Why is it like lagging or something? The last letters have been sent to your phone. I mean, looks like we're gonna die to save Sean. Have we got enough to save him? What's this? I did oh, it's an hour. Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Well, there we go. It might have been the wrong choice, but... I did what I would do if I was ever faced with that situation. Oop, police. So, apparently, even though half the address is missing, he can still decode it. So why he couldn't have decoded it earlier, I don't know. And I'm out of time to have fucking shitty letters from this fucking fucking address. Come on, there got to be Oh, he doesn't do know it. There can't be that many addresses, which several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered oh, all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. Uh, okay. So there's three possible addresses. Oh god, okay. Can we do anything with this? What's this doing? I'm not really sure why we're doing this. Where do we go? The problem is, like, I can't look at the... I don't understand what that's doing. Why are we holding that to our ear like that? Uh, so we've got a choice of three places. Park, road, and lane. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, God. 
I think wasn't one of these two one that showed up on Norman's thing. Uh, it dip dog poo whatever the song is I don't remember. Okay, we're going for Roosevelt Road. I might I may regret only this. Have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot. Okay. Can we program it in? Let's go for road. <laughs> is there anything we can do with the phone? I don't like it. I don't like feeling this helpless. It doesn't do any. Oh, what's this? What does that say? I can't pick one at random. I've got to figure out how to find the right one. Sean is at one of these addresses. There's got to be a way to figure out which one. What's that noise? That sounds like a boat. Like a ship? Yeah, so I reckon it's got to be this one because look, there's a big river. Do you know what? Let's do it. We're going to road. That's the only thing I can think of. We're going to go there and hope we've done it right. The fact that there was... I guess what he was doing was listening down the phone. Maybe there was a, a call connected. And I'm guessing the ship sound was a clue, perhaps? Sacrifice. Trophy earned. I don't know if we did the right thing drinking it. I really don't, but... I had to go with what I thought there. I might regret it, I don't know. Anyway, back to Norman. 6.30pm, 5.272 inches. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your hey. services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. <laughs> you can't no say that. Years. Now you're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Yeah, let's Blake, not fight him. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give you a shit. You shouldn't, because you're a police officer. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. This guy's such a piece of work. We're not taking the stuff. Well, what? He's taking it on his own? What the hell? The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. I mean, did he take it? I don't know. One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you yep. if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. It would be very unfortunate. Right, here we go then. Clues. Are there any new clues that we've got? Tire tracks? I mean, let's just analyse everything now. No data, okay. So that's the tire tracks. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Ah It's lucky we had the glasses on. So we might be able to get something from the killer here. Something 
important. Let's play it. The watch, maybe? Is he wearing a watch? Hmm, okay. Sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. Right, so nothing to do with the killer. However, if we play it again. Well, we've got to actually rewind it. I wonder if. Wait. Did he pull the mask up at one stage? No. Okay. It looked like it jumped. Right, can we... Is there something about his watch? Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Why is the watch out there? Didn't the lady say something about everyone gets one of those? To Lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Oh, is it the crazy guy? I mean, that would be pretty, pretty mad. Right, so we know about the watch. So the cop is a killer. That might explain why he didn't, why he didn't kill. I want to get to the bit where it looks like he's dropping his... There. Is there anything we can get from that? No. Okay. And then it's back to that. Right, okay. So we know he's a, a cop The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Possibly. got a serial number impounded in a police case five years ago the gun is still supposed to be oh, a police custody. definitely a police officer if not a cop I'm starting to think it's the the guy who's trying to catch the killer no data okay so could it be two receipts from the same gas station might be near the killer's home could well be. No identifiable oh, prints. That doesn't get us anywhere. The killer left ah. in the zone. Communion for the two people living around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. I mean, if you cross-reference that with police officers, surely that gives you a bit of a... bit of a narrow down. I think we looked at this already, didn't we? Right, so there's the origami store. The orchid. Yeah, so there is ones near that address. What's this? Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the That's dead end I'm investigation thinking. and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Mm, Got to investigate further. Analysis impossible. Wow, he lives. Cop. There's only one cop in that geoprofiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. It's him. 
I did think he was acting a bit suspicious. Man, is it really him? Going on here. The right car at the docks. Call the SWAT team. Oh, and I'll need a chopper. Today? Of course I'll need it today, you fucking imbecile. So it is him. Or is it setting us up for something else? Oh, okay, we're going to play as the kid again. Interesting. But I think that's where we'll leave it, guys, because we are out of time. So we're going to have to do that in the next one. Man, this game is getting really good. Um, we might know who it is. We might have figured out who the origami killer is. We'll potentially find out in the next episode. Uh, but that is going to do it for this one. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that, uh, that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.